In this video, we'll guide you through the steps required to customize and create a new learning scenario. Let's get started. After browsing the available learning scenarios, choose the one that resonates the most with your curriculum or the educational activity you want to conduct. The title and the description of the learning scenario can be amended to best fit your needs. If you scroll down to the selected learning scenario, you'll see that the original learning scenario consists of 12 learning units. Let's customize the learning unit to fit your teaching plan. Each learning unit consists of the same six elements. The phase the learning unit is nested under within the learning scenario, the format of the activities it entails, the topics it covers, who will be teaching, where it will take place, and who the stakeholders are. Simply use the drop-down menus to add elements and click on the X if you want to delete something. You can also delete entire learning units if you wish to do so. Please bear in mind that there should always be a minimum of four learning units per learning scenario or one per each of the following phases, brief, research, create, and share. After you've made all the necessary changes and your learning scenario is finished, you can download it to your computer and make more changes if required. If you want to continue working on your learning scenario, go back to the Build Your Own Home screen, click the button Upload a Learning Scenario File, and select the file you previously saved on your computer. Your learning scenario will then appear in the My Own Learning Scenario section highlighted as new. You can continue making changes by clicking on the learning scenario. Once you've saved the final version of a learning scenario on your computer, you can share the file with your colleagues who can always open it through the navigator in the same way. You can also save the final version of your learning scenario directly as a PDF by clicking on the Save as PDF button. The customized learning scenario can be found in the My Own Learning Scenarios section. Now that you're familiar with the navigator and open schooling, let's create a learning scenario from scratch. In the Build Your Own section, click the Create a New Learning Scenario button to get started. The navigator provides you with a blank canvas that allows your creativity to flow. Start by entering the title of your learning scenario and provide a description of what you want the students to learn. Add which subjects your learning scenario is likely to cover, who will be teaching, the locations where the students will learn, and who the stakeholders will be. To add a learning unit, click on Add a new learning unit. Enter the name of the learning unit and add a description as short or detailed as you wish. Don't forget to add which phase your learning unit is in by clicking on the drop-down menu and selecting the correct phase. Fill in the type of format of the learning unit and what subject or subjects your learning unit will cover, who will be teaching, where the learning unit will be taught, and who the stakeholders are. Remember, to create an open schooling learning scenario, you need a minimum of four learning units, one for each of the following phases, brief, research, create, share. If you change your mind about the order of the learning units you've added to the learning scenario, you can easily move them by using the move up and move down buttons at the bottom of each learning unit. If you're not happy with an entire learning unit, you can also choose to delete it altogether by clicking delete. If you want to end your building session, you can download and save the learning scenario to your computer. You'll be able to work more on the learning scenario adding other learning units or making changes at any time. If you want to continue working on your learning scenario, go back to the Build Your Own screen, click the Upload a Learning Scenario File button, and select the file you previously saved on your computer. Your learning scenario will appear in the navigator in the My Own Learning Scenario section. Now, you can continue working on your learning scenario simply by clicking on it. After you've saved the final version on your computer, you can share the file with your colleagues who can open the shared file through the navigator. Alternatively, you can save your finalized learning scenario as a PDF by clicking the Save as PDF button. 
Once you've finished your learning scenario, you'll find it in the My Own Learning Scenario section. Thank you for watching this video. You should now be able to use the navigator with ease. Thank you.